Hey, what is going on guys? This is Tharsha and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at all the recipes for the Midsummer Potluck event. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on this post notification. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So, we're going to go over here, we're going to click on Midsummer Potluck and we're going to have a look at all the different recipes you can make. As you can see, I've already done 10 cooking attempts, so... Yeah, let's go over the recipes and have a look. So, first of all, there's a bunch of recipes that you start off with, and then there's the ones you have to unlock. So, for fennel cake, you need flour, spice, and cream. For blueberry pie, you need flour, berry, and seasoning. For fish and chips, you need flour, fish, and potato. For cream of mushroom soup, you need cream, mushroom, and water. If we go over to the next page, you have your hobbit platter. A hobbit platter, you need a potato, a mushroom, and a piece of cheese. For raspberry jam, you need berry water and seasoning. For berry liquor you need berry and two waters. So this is the only recipe here that only has uh, two ingredients but it's not just one berry one water it is one berry and two waters. Then we have mince pie which needs red meat, flour and seasoning and if we go over to the final page there's a mysterious delicacy that I still have not been able to find out so I'm not sure what that is. And the last recipe we have is cheesy tomatoes, which is mixed vegetables, cheese, and spice. So yeah, and if you are able to cook six of these dishes, not just the ones that you uh, start off knowing, but even the ones that you find out the recipes for, any six of those will get you the chef's the chef certification reward, which is 600 gems, as well as a Midsummer Potluck sticker, and the Mary Sash Pippin avatar. So yeah, anyway, let's cook one or two of these dishes now because when you cook them, they do go into storage and then you can gift them over to the people asking for dishes back here in the tavern. So as you can see in nine hours, they will ask for a new dish and then I can gift them a dish and in return, I'll get some gems or speed ups or something like that. So let's go over to Midsummer Potluck. Let's click on the pot and let us make, uh, let's make some liquor because why not? We all, we all like to drink, right? Let's go over here, click that, and then with our two water, we need one berry. There we go. Let's click on the tick, and we need to make sure we don't miss any of these, otherwise, it will come out burnt. And I do not want to have burnt meals, or in this case, burnt liquor, I guess. Yeah, anyway, there we go. I think it's two more after this one, and probably the big one. No, 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 oh, 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 oops, 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 uh, <laughs> well, I guess this is what happens, <laughs> this is what happens when you do it wrong, you get overcooked food and you lose those ingredients, so, uh, yeah, okay, we, we have enough to, we have enough to try one last time, so, let's give it another go, and this time let's not destroy the food like that, because that was terrible, so let's click that, and it's that, then it's small one again, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And now it is medium. Nope, it's high. And then is it medium? Or does it change? Nope, small and then medium to finish. Okay. I see. I see. No, okay, so it changes every time. And there we have obtained food berry liquor. So that is cool. That will go into my storage. If we have a look at my storage, we can see that I now have. Oh, well, there we go. I have a blueberry pie, two berry liquors, and, and one. Why would I? Okay. And we have one overcooked food. So let's make something cool. Um, What do we... I, uh, I used to like fish and chips back when I was a pescatarian. So let's make some of that. Flour, fish, and potato. Okay. So let's go to fish. Let's go to flour. And where is a potato? We do have potatoes, right? Yeah, we do. Cool. So we can make ourselves a nice fish and chips. Okay, so low heat. And high heat. Yes, Mary. Puppin, don't worry, I know how to cook. Medium heat, even though I burnt the last one. Well, not the last one, the one before that. Okay, low heat again. Uh, high heat. And there we go. Now we have the fish and chips. So let's go and have a look at another recipe. Mmm, hobbit platter, ras raspberry jam. 
I do I do wonder what the mysterious delicacy is, but I don't want to waste ingredients on that. Let's try cheesy tomato instead. So that is mixed vegetable cheese and spice. So let's click, click over here. Mixed vegetable, where is that? We have 13 of that. Uh, cheese and spice, I think it was, right? Oh, oh that's seasoning. Uh, where is spice? Ah, that's spice. Cool. Let's hope that's correct. Uh, medium heat. Then low heat. Back to medium. Okay. And then it's gonna be high heat. To finish it off. No, low heat. Okay. Yes, Mary. Yes, Pippin. I can cook well. Okay, this is just a back and forth between low and medium, low and medium, low and medium. And that is a nice plate of cheesy tomatoes. So yeah, as you can see, that is basically the midsummer potluck and how you actually cook the meals and stuff. And as I said before, when you do cook six meals, and by six meals, I don't mean six of the same, I mean six different meals, okay? So you can't cook six Hobbit classes. When you cook six different meals, you get your chef certification. And the sh uh, chef certification gives you 600 gems, it gives you the Midsummer Potluck sticker and the avatar. The rest of the event is just, well, there's this chest, Midsummer Ma uh, Potluck Special, which allows you to pick any command and every 10 chests you will receive his respect items. I did. I chose my Gimli even though I haven't opened any of those chests. Then you have Gandalf's Fireworks where you can, oh, we can actually buy a bunch, let's just buy some then I guess. Uh, we don't have one of that, we don't have one of that. Is that everything? Yeah. Now we can just get some more and basically yeah by buying fireworks you just get rewards so there we go now we can open here we get the midsummer potluck sticker this one and we get 20 mathem vouchers nice if we go farther up as you can see there's a lot more rewards including a mathem coin but i rather i i want this i want a piece of equipment that is a good one because i definitely need to try and get another helmet or even a accessory. I don't really need the other two, but there are two Mathem medals and obviously the vouchers are nice to have. There was only 60, so it's not really going to be enough to actually get anything. And the last thing is greetings from afar, which is basically just a daily login. It gives you ingredients plus gems each day. So yeah, it also gives you some of the stuff for uh, getting fireworks, but yeah, that, that's about it. And if you, if you guys did enjoy this video, then please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the sports notifications. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.